Book of Psalms, Psalm 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Welcome to the prayer for forgiveness, renewal, and repentance. This is simply a video I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as we seek our Heavenly Father together. Please continue to meditate on this prayer for yourself. Speak it daily or listen to this video over and over again. And allow the Word of God concerning forgiveness, renewal, and repentance of sins to reach deep into your spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together here online and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus. Where two or more are gathered, there you shall surely be. And anything we agree upon as touching you will surely do. The Bible says that if there's any unforgiveness, that it should be dealt with before praying. Therefore, we release any anger, bad feelings, resentment, or any other wrong attitude before you now. We lay it at your feet and we release and forgive those who have wronged us. I lift up those watching this video and we come into agreement and lift up forgiveness, renewal, and repentance. Father, your word says that if we ask for mercy and for forgiveness, you will forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Purely on the basis of the promises of forgiveness in your word, with all feeling aside, we believe that the listener is forgiven. Humbly they come before your throne to receive this grace and mercy. Help the listener to forgive themselves and let the past go. We declare in agreement that Jesus is Lord over the listener, and if they believe in their heart that you raised him from the dead, they will be saved with heaven being their eternal home. We receive it. And we praise you, Father. Help the listener's unbelief. Their slate is wiped clean right now. In the face of any feeling of guilt and unworthiness, the listener receives their forgiveness from you. The guilt is for leaving and the sin is removed because of your love for them. You have forgiven their sins completely. They are blessed. God in heaven, you have forgiven them because of what Jesus has done. It is not about what they do or don't do. It is by grace through faith that they have forgiveness. They cannot earn it, but you have freely given forgiveness to them because they asked. Praise the Lord. Renew them right now by your spirit in Jesus' name. We speak refreshing over their mind, will, emotions, and body right now in Jesus' name. You, Father, are holding nothing against them. You, Father, are not holding anything back from them. You chose the listener in Christ before the foundation of the world that they should be holy and blameless in your sight. Thanks be to you. In Jesus, they have redemption, deliverance, and salvation through his blood, the remission, forgiveness of their offenses, shortcomings, and trespasses in accordance with the riches and the generosity of your gracious favor. Father, the listener has received your son, Jesus. They believe in his name. Through Jesus, you have given them the right to become your child. Thank you for forgiving them entirely and absolving them from all guilt. They are more than conquerors through the blood of Jesus. They are set free from the past in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome to the Prayer for Salvation. This is simply a video I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as we seek our Father God. Choosing to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior is the most important decision you will ever make. Remember, it's not about how you feel after you pray. When the Bible says it, that settles it, and God promises to save you when you ask. 
God's word promises, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. By his grace, God has already done everything to provide salvation for you, regardless of your past. Your part is to simply believe and receive. So the very moment you commit your life to Jesus Christ, the truth of his word instantly comes to pass in your spirit. And when you're born again, there's a brand new you. Pray out loud after me. Jesus, I confess that you are my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. By faith in your word, I receive salvation now. Thank you for saving me. I am now reborn. I am a Christian, a child of Almighty God. I am saved. Thank you, Jesus.